Welcome back to another episode of Jets Business Podcast. It's your host, Calvin Mills. Pin drops in the chat, pin drops in the comments. Let us know you in the building. Big homie, what you got for us? Y'all already know by now. Bring it the fuck in. Who's got two thumbs and is glad to be here? This guy. <laughs> this guy. The big homie, Tony D, everybody's favorite fat friend. How's everybody doing today? I'm good, I'm good. Oh, boy, good to see you, man. Oh, boy. And today, we have a special guest, Erica Renee from Compton Isn't Dangerous. Y'all yeah. yeah, got a little harder. It's, yeah, I tried to do the dramatic oh. big, yeah, I know. you know what I'm saying? The, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you, you, felt the, you felt the love, right? <laughs> we so glad you're here. How you doing, love? I'm good. How y'all doing? Man, I'm, I'm doing, doing good. good. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. I'm glad we made it. Yeah, I mean, y'all a little off schedule, but I mean, look, we a little cool. late. Oh, it's, people time. Black people been getting chased by uh, uh, BBWs. Why are you getting chased by you? Yeah, I started to stampede. <laughs> My little stampede on, on Facebook. <laughs> look where he you're burnt he said, out. <laughs> where he said it started, where where it really started was I made a post that said I really, it's really a copy and paste, but I made a mm -hmm. post that said a BBW is the easiest easiest thing to get. Mm -hmm. Which is factually true. I, I feel like that's a wow. factual I don't, I don't think fact. So. Why is that a factual fact? Because the majority of men aren't, that's not their number one choice. That's not, they're not gonna, be. if they can go for, if they, had the, if they had a choice to go for any woman in the world, they're mm -hmm. not going to go for that first. Just because you don't like it don't mean somebody else don't like it though. I mean. Because it could be skinny look, girls, like they just jump on anything too. So you can't really. I'm not even saying it. I'm not even saying skinny girls. Just be healthy. You don't got to be a size one or. What's BBW to you? I, I like to make emphasis <laughs> mm -mm. that uh, for this man to e like to even be trying to have this argument, like let's broaden the t let's not be so specific and say BBW because BBW is a very specific term. The second letter in BBW is B for beautiful. So you you clearly That's can't be. BBW is a big, beautiful woman, correct? It is. For, for it me. is. It ain't a big black woman. No. It's a big, beautiful woman. Period. So that's what I'm saying. So to it, so that would indicate that there would have to be attractive. You feel what I'm saying? And on the, the case, though. It, I mean, and on the, so what's it's your definition that, of it, though? First of all, BBW for me. You want to say some bullshit? It's a big black woman. You, <laughs> that's a big, you that's know a BBW you wrong. I ain't never heard that. You know you dead ass wrong. That, that's what a big big. That's what a BBW is. To <laughs> you. It's, your, it's your friend. <laughs> this is new. We're episode oh, four. My you ain't know his my definition boy. before we started. I had no before I asked him. I would. I did. I wouldn't. I didn't think he was gonna say. That's why I asked look, him. Cause you know you wrong. Look, it's been going up. This I, nigga I done had death death And that's why they on your ass. Cause you probably he's said had, that on Facebook. No, he's huh? had real life death. The last episode. You should have yeah. seen uh, one of our last episodes. One of our more recent episodes. He done got cussed out for talking about their hair, black women's hair. Not, why are you talking about their hair? Because I'm black too, so you kind of offended yeah. me now. Not too much. Yeah, I got, I got, it, I got look, told. look at the question. Look, 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 yeah, I'm look, on your look, look, no, 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 yeah, no, no. Told, okay, you, let me stop. Let me stop. You got me not, mediator. Let me, let me stop because we go, we can do a whole episode on this, this nigga and pissing off the whole earth, <laughs> the whole fucking earth. Like I said, he. Why you like that? I just feel how I feel, and I say what I say, and people don't like what I say. What, what and how made I say you it. like that? It got to be something in your life that caused you to be like this. You can't just wake up one day and be like, "Oh, this da 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 da." Like it got to be something. Make sure you say the right answer too. Remember, nigga, born. she you know, she is from Compton. I was just born that way. Yeah, that's probably that's ass. probably why I'm from Compton too. Okay, we so, feel how we feel. We stand on business, and that's just what it is. But your logic and shit is crazy. It's, and this we were five minutes in. <laughs> This like shit that been going on for about a month <laughs> and now. And that's why they on your ass. I know it was like this bad. Like I said, we could do a whole episode on him. Yeah, we about to let's do your ass. Get into, <laughs> let's get into you. We here for you. Period. You feel me? You the Period. star of this Period. episode. We just here to, to just expose you to the whole wide world. Let's go ahead and get an introduction. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we got Compton isn't dangerous in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Period. So the one and only. How, how do we... How do we get to this point? How, like, what what is Compton? Isn't dangerous other than a dope name and some fire ass merch, bathing suits and hats and whatnot. Everything oh, yeah. you gotta say everything. Everything. I mean, yeah. so so it's like how, how how did it come about? So Compton dangerous came about because like every time I talk about Compton, somebody always say some bad shit. If you talk about Compton, you talking about me. I'm not that. And 
nine out of ten times they never been to the city. So one day I was just like, Compton ain't dangerous. Like, what the fuck? Because y'all got me fucked up. You got the city fucked up. Da da da. Right. So it was like, put on the shirt. So yeah, that's how it came about. Okay. But Compton Dangerous spreading light on like the positive stuff in the city because so much in the city. Some shit I didn't even know about before I started my brand. Like, you just gotta see. But it's like so many events, so many people that's doing the same shit. But my shit just like is blunt with it. It's a lot of Man. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I produce, yeah, yeah, Period. Yeah. But yeah, it's a lot of shit in the city that people don't see. I didn't even see it before I started my brand. So I'm just basically shining light on the shit. It's like I'm just bold with it. I like that. If you're like gonna do something, lot. do it big. Yeah, you got and it's, it. Compton Day is gonna catch everybody's attention. Every time I say my brand, bro, I gotta argue. Not argue, but I like it's a full conversation with somebody. Everybody, I say my like my brand. See, that's a good segue to my first question. Mm -hmm. uh, that is what I was gonna ask you. Do you really truly feel like Compton isn't dangerous? Yeah, because growing up, I could see, because I know I'm 24, Compton had a mm -hmm. whole history way before me, mm -hmm. but growing up and shit. I could see the difference between then and now, which like died down like a lot. So I stand on business of what I put out. I'm not gonna say nothing that I don't agree with. What schools did you go to? You're not gonna say. I mean, you're not gonna know if I say it. Okay. I went to El Triple A. It's a private school in Compton. Okay. But I went to okay. um, New Mount Calvary. I went to Optimo and Optimo. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I went to Optimo too. You feel me? Yeah, I remember Optimo, talking Optimo about Christian it. Academy. Yeah, but me? I was there for a brief second. I wasn't fucking with them. Yeah. Okay. I mean, look. Oh, that's bad because they had, like a private look. I love look. It, look, <laughs> no, look. It's like this. Look, it's everybody got their experiences. There. I just wasn't feeling that. I wasn't Man, feeling that. School, it, yeah. it, it was a lot. It was real strict. No, El Triple was a Christian school too, but just optimal. I just wasn't. It was. It wasn't for me. Like you know, when you feel something, uh -huh. it just wasn't for me. So I went back to where I, I do want to ask you: Would you, would you having a, would you going to private school and into a charter? Do you feel like education wise, it was a difference from you going to a private and charter to going to a public school? Oh, um, kids that go to public schools. Mine was different because I went to a private school, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like strict nothing. My, my school was ghetto. Like, it was the same. You just, you just got to pay to be there. It was I like the same thing. Ultima got a ghetto side. Because school. after El Triple I went to a regular school too, but I didn't know different. You just got to pay for it. El Triple it was lit. It was like a regular, <laughs> regular school, literally. Right. There was no difference education-wise? Um, No. No? You just gotta you gotta have Bible class. That's like it's just like different classes. Chapel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chapel every single day. Yeah. I used to be in their lit though. They have some lit songs. <laughs> of course, of course. But okay. <laughs> so when you started your brand, right? Uh -huh. Um, it's like most of the time we speak to the, you know, younger version of ourselves. Yeah. But like who was your 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 target, you know, that you were trying to inspire, you know what I'm saying, or inform with confidence and danger? I really have a story. I want to talk to everybody. Everybody. If you, yeah, if you're going to do something, do it big. I don't I have no no audience. I feel the fuck out I just, that. I'm just repping my city. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's kind of... But now it kind of changed though because now I'm like, I want to help like the younger audience though because since I've been doing my brand, I know it's like, it's not a lot of things for them to do. And it's like, they just go towards gangs and stuff and like the negative yeah. stuff. So I just want to like help them out. It's like my they don't boy, have no outlet. My boy Desmond oh. actually made a post. You feel me? Um, I, I don't remember ver verbatim, uh, but he actually made a post today where he was just kind of alluding to the fact like these young people are so smart. You feel me? They are. They just don't have no outlet. They don't they, know where to put their their greatness. And then on top of that, most of the time they grew up experiencing. You feel me? Their older you know, people, their family or uncles, aunts, mother, father, whatever it is, the older people in their life, they all had a fuck it attitude. Like, fuck this, fuck that. I ain't going to take this shit. And so you got a bunch of brilliant ass kids who ain't never seen nothing but people who was like, I don't give a fuck about nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's why you have these young people who are just so passionate but they don't have but nothing to be passionate too, because about. Because like, you feel when me? people don't support, they be thinking like their idea, like, it's not good, or they just like just let it die out. They don't have no like no passion after nope. hearing everybody else feedback. Cause that's like how I was. Even my friend was like, "Compton's dangerous." Like, the fuck? Like, you feel me? So at first, when I first started the brand, I stopped. Cause like I was listening to everybody else. But it's like I'm don't well fuck everybody else. I know what I believe in, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. keep it going. That's and that's where people like let great ideas die. 
listen so, to everybody else. Like what type of like when you say like people say don't do it, like what was if you don't mind sharing, like what was like some of the hesitancy that you heard from people? Like was it like the fact that it was Compton, the fact that you're a black woman, like what was it that was the 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 stumbling block that it's everybody like, tried to It's like in my family, they like they so traditional. I'm not like that. I like I wanna be my own boss. I don't wanna work for nobody else, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So me starting my business already one thing. I won't say like my family because some folks they will support they do support me, whatever. But son, it was like you crazy. And like all my family they from Compton and they older, so they experience different than like what I experienced. But it's like I seen how Compton changed. So you feel me? So it was that. So you talking like alluding more to like the the fear of being responsible for yourself, or you feel me like uh, being an entrepreneur, stepping out and you know what I'm saying, yeah. betting on you. Yeah, yeah, like I got this. Don't worry about me. Cause That's I know what I, I know what I got within me. That's a fact, man. We, we, yeah. we got. We that's got like a lot of courage. That's like a whole. That's a, that's <laughs> but, a whole lot nah, of courage. for real, yeah. for real. No, nah, like I mean. So when I put my but when I put my mind to something, I'm just I want it. Yeah. I mean, and, and plus, it's like the perfect time. Like you know what I mean. Like even if it wasn't, because a lot, a lot of stuff going on in Compton. Even if it wasn't all that going on, I'll be standing ten toes behind my brand. That's what's up. I it's just an extra push. You feel me? Yeah, it's good. It's great. But it's like I'll still be doing the same shit. That's what's up. I don't I give like a fuck. That. I like that a lot. That yeah. that's what a lot of people be missing in a small business. Mm -hmm. If you get a lot of people, they'll they'll start a small business and they'll make a few dollars in the first couple of months, and they're like, all right, well, this didn't work. I'm out of here. Yeah. You gotta break through the mental barriers and really get to the bag. It's just, bro. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I look at some shit like, damn, like that should be me because my shit fire as fuck. But I know yeah. everybody got their own time. You just need patience. You just yeah. gotta keep pushing. Exactly. How long you been doing this? Um, like two and a half years. But when I started, I stopped. But like last year, mid last year, I started going again. I mean, but think about it. Everybody been asking me, like, what happened to Compton Baby? Like, but I'm like, y'all like it? Like, I mean, think about it. I was doing it. it for fun. You, you on a podcast, like, you you got your, you actually have actual merch in hand. It ain't just the mm -hmm. idea. And I made it myself. Yeah. You feel me? You doing this shit. And so that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like, yeah. not the stitch, though. I don't do the stitch. I don't want to take credit for that because I fuck that with my people that stitch, though. But that yeah. ain't what I'm talking about. <laughs> it, it went from here yeah. to here yeah. in two years. With a pause, with, with a break, pause. you feel me? Oh, with all that, you feel me? That just goes to tell you that the, that the <laughs> most high don't make no mistakes and you're doing mm -hmm. exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And it's a whole lot of us. I mean, I kind of spoke about that mm -hmm. on our la on one of our episodes that just that just dropped with our boy Akil. Mm -hmm. Like, people don't ever go do that thing. I, I was even speaking to myself, like, we've... So many times we we get we had that dream we had that thing we, that we know that's fire. If God put something in your mind, go do yeah. it because He ain't gonna give us to anybody. That's I don't it. care how far fetched. I don't give a fuck if you selling air, nigga. If He put it in your mind, go do it. Shit, they oh, selling air. You go to the gas station. <laughs> right. air, tired, they exactly. Air. I don't care how far fetched it sounds. What anybody else say? If you put it to, in your mind, it's for a reason. That's what's yeah, because it's so always going it. to sound crazy until you actually make it into a reality. Exactly. And it's so crazy because when I be out, like, I had two people stop me. I don't, you feel me? It'd be like regular shit. They'd be like, whatever you're doing, keep doing. Like, it's for a reason. And it'd be some odd shit. And it'd be the times where I'd be, like, doubting myself, but nobody knows. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a, a, a... It's the energy. Yeah, it's the boost. It's so the to that, like... To that person, you feel me, like mm -hmm. that you may that may have been that may be in that place, you feel me, that may have, you know what I'm saying, put their dream to the side, you feel me? To that person that may have just said, you know what, fuck this shit, you feel me? Like mm -hmm. I don't wanna do it. What would you say to that person? Or what did you say to yourself, you know what I'm saying, to get you out of that place, that rut? Just make it a hobby. Whatever you do, make it a hobby. At least because, make it a hobby. I'm yeah, sure. don't look at it for like the money and stuff. Yeah, that's cool, but it's like the money you make is going to go back, so it's not really your money. You feel me? So just make it a hobby. Have fun with it. Don't feel like you have to do it. Do it because you want to do it. Right, because you love it. Yeah, because sometimes when I make my clothes, I be like, damn, I don't want to do this. But now, like, I made a hobby. I'm over here like, duh, duh. I got my music going on. Like, right. I got the whole what, what you listening to? <laughs> it depends my mood. It's probably just, like some throwback shit or like some young boy. Like, <laughs> okay. it okay. depends on the day. Well versed. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, it depends on the day. Speaking of music... Yeah. <laughs> you know they mad at your boy K Dot because they want to. That sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> I ain't even have to finish the Just question. Back up. 
It's a, I mean, let's be outside. We outside look, everywhere. I'm actually gonna be bold and probably piss a couple people off. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look at the camera with this one. Wayne, a little overrated, y'all. Y'all can chill. Like, well, what he gonna perform if he do? Like, I don't know. I don't care what the fuck he perform. Like, <laughs> it's like Wayne is like I feel you on the metaphors and all that. I ain't gonna take away from him on, on, in that aspect, but fucking what? little Wayne. I, look, people can be mad. I, I, that's my opinion. You feel me? I'm not moved by Wayne. I don't mm-hmm. think that the whole uh, colonic of fucking metaphors and just saying mm-hmm. shit <laughs> makes you the fucking goat. And the Super Bowl I mean, is yeah, all about sure. money. You want the biggest people, the biggest person that's out right now is Kendra. He got the biggest songs right now. The greatest performer. Like I mean, Drake turned it down it. four times. You feel me? Exactly. Like, apparently, allegedly, allegedly. Sense. allegedly. Anywho, go ahead. It doesn't ain't no round twos. Business, though. It's about business. He gonna bring everybody in. They want yeah, the, the views, the crowd, everything. That's a great performance. Yeah. Right Kendrick, That's a legend. Artist, Kendrick is a hundred percent for the culture. For sure. And I, I don't, and he don't I don't believe that he would that he's oblivious to the temperature of the room. So mm-hmm. I believe that he understands, you know what I'm saying, the the opportunity at hand. You feel me? All of that. Mm-hmm. So I don't I believe it's gonna be an incredible performance. That shit about to be lit as fuck. All of that, you feel me? Look but at as far, it's like now, if we gonna do, if we gonna do the whole New Orleans thing, I don't think it should just be Wayne. I think they should do like all of New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not do Cash Money? Why not do No Limit? But why when not they do, do all that? Well, they bring people out too, so you don't know who we gonna bring out. So I mean, then they also, but he just truth be told, like are you really gonna be? Having that much bouncing that ass on on, on the Super Bowl, I mean, but no, shit. No. But Kendrick don't need it no bouncing PG. ass. It got to be PG, PG of some sort. I mean, Kendrick is PG. That's what I'm saying because yeah. I mean, Janet Jackson titty. You know Her titty popped still, out. It was a, a mouth popped out. That shit popped out. <laughs> popped out. Was not popped out. What we're not gonna do is act like that bitch. I try to make it sound good. Like that. Like the titty just <laughs> exposed itself. Like it. <laughs> She pulled the shit and the shit mal- malfunctioned. He, it was yeah. the, it, it was. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, uh, what, what we will not do You're f- is act as if that white man I'm trying to make it did sound not good. expose that sister's city. So you think it was on purpose? Absolutely. <laughs> Justin Timberlake was excited. He said, going to have you naked by the end of this song. <laughs> Literally, oh, man, huh? Literally. Literally. And he was in love with her, too. You seen the documentary? He used to have a post up on his he wall. He probably put extra hearts yeah. up. Yeah, he probably yeah, wants some titties out. He's a little overzealous. That made his night. Yeah. <laughs> for life. Man. Not for life. So what, what What? do you see? Like, what's the future looking like for Compton is in danger? What, what, is, what is the dream, you know what I'm saying, all the way rolled out? I see that we here and we got getting things rolling. What What are, what are the plans? We want to get you, you know what I'm saying, to your goals. So uh-huh. let's like, what, let, what, what do you see for the future? <laughs> Well, the clothes, it's just like a structure. It's to put me out there. But I want to have, like, outlets for kids. Like, you said they have ID. They don't know where to put it. So mm-hmm. I'm going to create something that's for them, basically. So right now, I'm working on my first... I won't say workshop. Cause workshop's so boring. It's called Let's Paint About It. <laughs> so it's like a business workshop, but, like, we're going to make it fun. That's how we're working out right now. Just my wife, giving them my wife do a lot of painting and all that. So I'm mm-hmm. going to get y'all. I paint too. My shit probably, it looks janky, but I I paint. mean, but it ain't about being Picasso. It's about yeah, it's expressing not, yourself. Yeah, you so I just want to talk about business while we paint. Have something like very interactive. I don't want to just show slides on the board. Because when I be seeing that, I don't pay attention to it. That's what's up. We, need, we yeah. definitely need that. And I'm young, so I know I, I'm in tune. You feel me? So, I mean, y'all, okay, y'all here. You feel me? What the dream is off top. Y'all hear what the goal is. You and we're going to fix them potholes it, it, sooner. I was, look, I didn't want to say nothing about it. <laughs> I didn't want to talk about y'all. I didn't want to talk about the streets the of Compton. The streets is junky I'm from, as I'm from Long Beach. And they over here making that? Compton High and shit looking like a college campus fix the streets. But, yeah. I, I think that it's something that's definitely going to happen. I think that. I, mm, but I, I, don't, I, that I don't know. That's, like, kind of iffy because it came to the point where people, like, citizens coming out fixing the streets themselves. And they was mad about them fixing it. She's like, you're not going to fix it. Who the fuck going to fix it? I think that it'll happen. I don't... When is this still Asia Wilson? How, how though? No, it's not. Who is it now? Um, What's her name? See? Is that a black woman? Yeah, it is. But See, she, that's the problem. she's on the older side. And that's what I'm saying. I don't... I don't and that's I, not, As long as it's a black woman, mm-hmm. 
or a black face, I don't think that uh, there's a whole lot of support for things being changed. Because of the color or something? Or like, Yeah, I don't think, I just don't think that the powers that be, not necessarily us, mm -hmm. I'm saying, I think that they bring us around for hope purposes, just like Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. I don't think she gonna do a goddamn thing. Um, I think that uh, it's just gonna be a whole bunch of like this. I'm gonna ask you that too. I mean, I think this is it's just hope um, driven, you know, rhetoric um, that Obama. that that Obama gets us nowhere. Now, but you can't really compare that to Compton. Though. I feel like I, the people I, that's like. I don't say like in charge, but like the upper heads. I feel like they giving up on Compton because like I don't think they gave up on it. I just like I said, I, I, do, I think they, they hear what people for, want. They make it hard for people when they try to do good in the city because I it's like um it's a softball team called Wolfpack. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to talk about this. Why not? But anywho, why not? This just they were charging them a little bit personal. up the ass just like to use the park. You feel me? Compared to like Long Beach or like neighboring cities, so it's like it's Compton. Like you don't. You know what's going on in the city. Why are you charging up the ass for it? So it's like they make it hard for people. What is Wolfpack? Is it's a softball team for kids. Shout out to the Wolfpack. Yeah, period. You feel me? Uh, period. Best of luck to y'all and whatever y'all endeavors move are. They have cities. So like they make it hard for people. And they know like what people are dealing with in the city. It's not just Compton, though. That's why Jason Lee, mm -hmm. he ended up running for office down in Stockton in his hometown. He did the same thing, actually. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he said he ended up going to his hometown and one of his parks was boarded up. And you know how the parks be. Mm -hmm. Now it be you know homeless people all around, people in the, in the park doing drugs, all them, all them type of things. The kids mm -hmm. don't have nowhere to go, go play and right. that shit. So what he did was he raised his own money and he ran for office and he got some more funding. He got he, he had got like four hundred million for mm -hmm. for them to you know re renovate the park and do all these other extra things mm -hmm. to get it back up and running. And I think that's what that's what we need. I don't I don't know. It's my fault. It's probably Wish I don't know. It's probably a yeah. BBW yeah. saying, fuck I don't you, know. Calvin. Not, it's Wish Calvin. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. I don't know if um, necessarily we don't need a black woman that's going to be in office, but it needs to be somebody up there to fill in these potholes, just like it is in Long Beach. Let the the reason, why, Let reason why these potholes around here are getting, getting uh -huh. filled up is because who they have in office right now. Mm -hmm. She's making it a point to fill in some of these potholes to do something about all these homeless people that's around here, that's they be over here running into these stores of high off drugs sure. five, six at a time. And it's like, what can they really know. do? Mm -hmm. You know, she's actually doing, I didn't believe it's a, a young lady, she's actually doing something about some of those things. We gotta have people in the office that actually care about some of our interests. They need young people in office, they don't need like older folks. The Democrats are trying, that's why you were yeah. seeing Megan Thee Stallion twerking for democracy and all that. that, other stuff. that that's wild, that should not be going on. That's crazy. That's actually Bouncing crazy. As Bouncing it's crazy, ass at a presidential to, debate. <laughs> they're trying to get the young vote. But it's like they're trying to get young women, yeah, and black see, women yeah, to vote. I can see all it. those in between people. But that's yeah, that's because crazy. I I it's personally don't like here. Camilla's policies. Uh huh. I was seeing all looking at a commercial today. One of her policies is to make three hundred. She said three hundred thousand more new homes for the middle class. Mm -hmm. We don't need no more of that shit. That's just mm -hmm. that's low income housing. We don't we don't need no more of that. We don't need no more of those programs that was essentially just built to keep black people in a box. Mm -hmm. That's how I, that's how I feel about that. So I don't I don't care if it's a, a black <clears throat> woman. I don't give a fuck if it's Trump. I care about the policies and I just don't like her policies. I don't like her Obama Jr. policies. I don't like them Biden anomics policies. I just mm -hmm. don't like them. I actually do kind of like what, what Trump is talking about. And most of the most most of the slander against him. <laughs> It's just that it, it's just talking to <laughs> hyperbole. It, it really just is. People don't like the way mind. people don't like the way he talked mm -hmm. and all that other extra stuff. But if you look at his look so at his policies. I voted for him last time. So Matter of fact, I voted for him the last two times. We finna go for the three peak. You think Jesus. he care about black folks? Do I care? I don't think I don't think, any, I don't think, I don't think he doesn't care about black people. I don't think it's important to him. Trump I've is said, a troll. I don't think Trump just get, he, Trump don't give a fuck. He's just a troll. Like <laughs> I, I've said it numerous times. I feel like we're choosing between somebody that's a liar and somebody that's full of shit. And that alone, you don't know even know which one to place which we, because we, you know that neither one. Fun. We're talking about politics, chick. Me I mean, that's I'm just it's <laughs> the I mean it's the facts. It's just yeah. It's, that's the, the the direction that that's where we're at right now. And truth be told, I don't really believe that our vote is gonna matter. 
It, that shit is rigged. They already know who they're gonna want. I don't, who they I don't want believe. To win. I feel like everything is rigged. I, I think people that just aren't everything voting is for the right. Ass. They're just not voting for the right thing. People are only voting for the president, and then they'll go down the line and vote for everybody else in that party. Mm-hmm. When the electoral college picks the president, mm-hmm. yeah, so don't worry about that. You need to be focusing in on those people who are in office that can actually the, go the fill in the potholes. The but local, like, the local yeah. people, the local elective. You need to. But I also, yeah. Yeah. but I also think that that is that we gotta also understand how that shit works. It ain't just oh yeah, we voted for him. We don't. It's not just our vote. It's our money too. You feel what I'm saying? Because the reason why we're only picking from the select few is because the we only have a certain amount of people that have the funding, you know what I'm saying, to keep running or to even get their name out there and all that all that other stuff. So it's like we can't just put our vote behind somebody. We got to put our money behind somebody. Okay, so I'm yeah, glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because you, you're talking about money and funding. When Trump was in office, we actually had the access to that bank funding to actually go start these, these small businesses. Absolutely. Like COVID. The, Yes, that's when that's when he was in office. But I heard during, like during it wasn't COVID him that took the money out. No, I'm not talking about the stimulus oh, checks. Okay. I'm talking about the black people who were actually able to go walk into the bank mm-hmm. and get funding for their business. Now, well, I don't know much about like, that, so I wouldn't that be? Isn't that like the one they saying that he was benefiting off of the the legislation before him? He was benefiting off how the tax how the, how the tax code was written. That's what he was benefiting from. That's how he was able to pay no taxes. That was most people's problem with him. With him being a billionaire, most people feel like these rich people need are needs to be the one to save humanity. So since he was a billionaire and he was making all that money, <clears throat> the tax code is set up to where all of them, they don't be paying none, no taxes. Yeah. That's how it's set up. But he was the only one to actually go publicly and say, that's what I'm doing. If you don't like it, change the tax code. That That's what it was. And they didn't like that. So now that it's up in the front, <clears throat> that's what that whole case is about. Like that, that... Cases, nonsense, all that. Well, to I, me, in my, in my I can't say shit about it. Wasn't there it, another though. fucking assassination attempt today, too? Yeah. It was. Mm-hmm. They, they tried to shoot at him again today. I think all this shit is bullshit. <laughs> I think all oh, this shit. Can we talk about something else, bullshit. though? No, yeah. I mean, and that's, and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like, I mean, it, 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 I agree with you, but I also, under, I also see why that shit There's is. There's always something major that happened before you start voting for presidents. It's always something yeah. big that yeah, happened. Yeah, That's probably just one of them. I don't know. The, the because they show his ear. His ear look fine to me. You don't like nothing great. It's fucking ear. <laughs> <laughs> so I really don't want to talk but about you that. you see, y'all this shit. Niggas walk around perfectly getting shot at incompetent all the time, though. You said what? I said niggas walk around freshly shot and confident all the time. Somebody graze your ear or hit your ear, whatever the fuck your ear. It's it's a mark. <laughs> You, you can say, tell. Did you say freshly it shot? Freshly <laughs> shot. Absolutely freshly <laughs> shot. Not too much on the city. Not yeah. too much. Have you look, been in Compton? I love Compton. I you told you I went to Optimus. I went to Optimus. I told you. I, you I, you I was love, fine, right? You, left, I, look, you look intact to me. Look, I, so not I, too I, much. Look, I uh, frequent Compton all the time. And you look perfectly to, to intact. To get my uh, vegetation. And you like you intact. So yeah, not I, too much on the city. Compton's a dangerous. Nigga, people. Long Beach ain't <laughs> Long Beach ain't motherfucking. But he just said people get shot in Compton. Nah, nah, nah. Niggas get shot in yeah. Long Beach every people day. People get shot everywhere, everywhere. but don't just yeah. say say it like that. People get shot everywhere. You're don't right. say people get shot in Compton. You right. You you intact. I'm intact. We all from Compton. We intact. So not too much. Yeah, she gonna square up on you for talking. I'm about to uh, jump clearly, over there in a minute. Start swinging on his ass. She said, "Easy there. It's fat gonna be boy. dangerous in a minute." <laughs> now, hold on, man. <laughs> Look now to that like. To the whole, I guess, negative connotation or stereotype uh, that's involved with Compton. Yeah. What are some things that you think would help change that, you feel me, that view? You feel me? Not necessarily to fuck it, white folks, because that it don't necessarily matter. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, like, to, to the person who's not from Compton, maybe somebody from the South. Who's only seen movies? Who's only seen? Who's only heard songs or seen things on the news? How could we change the outlook or you know what I'm saying the the view of Compton? What do you think? Well, to reach him, everything has to be word to mouth. You're not gonna really understand Compton until you come to Compton. So word to mouth, they gonna be like, oh, I thought Compton was this, but they saying this. So you know how people start getting curious. Mm-hmm. That's why you gotta create stuff in Compton to prove them wrong. Everything starts from word of mouth, and then they come to the city and be like, oh, it's not like the movie. Like, you feel me? 
I like that. Yeah, people, so, yeah. people do. That's why I want to put Outlet out of Compton. Yeah. yeah. He watched that movie. That shit like old as fuck. Like, come on now. Times have changed. It was crazy, but yeah, times have changed. Yeah. I do want to ask you, because there's been a lot of gang unity as of late. You know, YG did yeah, that. Yeah, the little walk and stuff. Yeah, they did the walk. They've been doing the uh, They've been doing a lot games. in Compton. A lot. Yeah. They have a basketball team, a softball team. Kai yeah. Snack came to Compton. Yeah. I brought my little brother out. He took a picture with him. That nigga, you the past sister ever. I know. <laughs> I know But yeah So do you think that gang unity is actually gonna last this time? Cause we have seen that over the years And it's kind yeah, of been I think like... it is Cause it's not like Compton is not the same You just gotta be there to understand it I could say like it's not the same a million times But you're not gonna really understand it If you never like lived it So I feel I like agree. Compton has died down a lot Yeah From how it used to be well, What I think will help a lot and a lot of people are not going to like that. A lot of our people are not going to like it. Because there is some gentrification that is coming to Compton. Yeah. So I I personally think that's going to be good for the city. And I really don't think that's a bad thing to begin with. Well, you know what Compton first I've came about? Heard, it was a white I've never neighborhood. never heard somebody say gentrification and good for the city in the same shit. It is. It, it's not kind of crazy though. What, you, what you think gentr gentrification is? All right, but I mean, but gen is you, gentrification is when it, they that's the thing. build it's it up to get folks. niggas out. It doesn't. It doesn't have to. I don't know. That's probably a black if, thing. I think when you say that, I think about they trying to push the black people out. Yeah, that, like, that's oh, that's literally what yeah, it means. Yeah, that's why. This <laughs> nigga. That's not what it. That's but not he what knows it how to look on the bright side of shit when he wants to. But like I said, I'm very objective. A, he's a gentrification is not good for us. It's like it's um, um, us unless out. It's, unless it's on some on some so, strategy yeah. shit where niggas uh -huh. is like we gonna pump fake like we don't yes. know what's going on. But now nah, nigga psych, hey y'all to fix my shit up and I'm still gonna stay here because it. Mm -hmm. No, not even. So you probably have a different word because that it's like no, pushing us out. Gentrification. All gentrification means is you got an influx of money that's gonna come in to mm -hmm. either. Bring business or build up some of these homes or houses and things like that. So you like rebuilding shit. Which is which is which, uh business for getting niggas out of there. It doesn't have to be that way though. So it's like them niggas fixing could, Compton High. That's what you're talking about. Or it's yeah, like, they're gonna be fixing, okay. they're gonna be fixing Compton like, High. Yeah. They're supposed to they're supposed to tear down the Imperial Courts. Mm -hmm. I call that Hillbilly Central. Mm -hmm. that, that shit should have been out of here. And pretty much cause Y'all don't come look looking back, for us because of the shit this nigga be saying. Oh, look at there, there you go. There we go. The the process whereby the character uh, of a poor urban area is changed by wealthier people moving in. So the wealthier people, people can be us. That's what I'm saying. Can be, Typically we don't displacing have, we don't the inhabitants. Have the, which one call it? We don't have hold on, like, hold on, hold on. Typically, is that not? Hold on. Typically, displacing current inhabitants in the process. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't have to though. So like, then we gotta change he's to the see, word. Like, so, they, so we're not talking about gentrification other being wealthy a, black people. Gentrification is never going to be a good thing. What's, what's stopping? What's stopping black people from being wealthy? What's what's stopping them from we working? Don't okay, so, we don't have like. So, in your plan, are you talking about something that's going to prevent displacing the the people that's currently there? Some of them, some of them people need to be displaced. Okay, well then, fuck so that idea. Let's not let's not play. Wait, fuck. where would they be let's, displaced you know, to? That be, idea can suck my be, dick. I can see why you be, be arguing fucks on Facebook. Let's be real. Oh my gosh. Let's be real. Let's say, let's he say, said, boot them, fuck them, replace them. Mm -hmm. Let's be real. I did look, look. I did say on our, hold on. I did say on our first episode. That in nature, that if there are disruptors, the disruptors in, in nature, that they Wash would... Wash out the bad type they, shit. I get that. But some he, of these people he say shit displaced. and then don't expound on it. Yeah, you have to say like I'm about that, to explain but the way you say shit, it's like, it's Go like, ahead. Please what's explain the fuck? Yourself. If, you, if you woke up tomorrow, you're worth a million dollars. <throat> and you went to go buy a $500,000 house, a $700,000 house in, mm -hmm. a real, in a nice neighborhood. Would you want these same homeless people that we see all the time up under the freeway doing drugs in your in your community Help where you sitting here paying all this money for? We're Help talking them. about the people who pay their rent. Yeah, okay then. The so hardworking the hard working yeah, families. Wealthy black that, people that, that can pull their money together and help these people. If, but we have to be. That real. don't mean you gotta just get up and people, move. You can help your community. Let's, if you don't like, be, if you don't like real. what you see, fix it. Let's be real. A lot of that people don't want. That means you gotta pack up and go. Though that's like you just giving up on your city. No, I'm not giving up on the city. I'm giving. Up, I'm giving up on the people who who have already given up on themselves. But you it's cannot, like different acts where people get up on themselves because they can have like mental things going on. It's not just like. Fuck it, I'm gonna do this. I'm not like it's right. like a different aspect and factor. You can't. I mean, of course, I'm not talking about like the mentally ill. That's what it's Ill. saying though. I'm but if you about... see, okay, but you can't tell who mentally ill and who not by just looking at them. Right. No, and that's what you're saying, like, oh, he no, no, he tripping, no. so 
He like you feel me but I'm, giving up on him off the bat. I'm just being real. You realistic. can't judge a book by its cover though. If you look at majority of the homeless, if you don't like what you see, fix it. Don't just get up and go. If you look at the majority of the homeless community, they mm-hmm. don't really want help. You don't know that though, because everybody we has do. their own. We story. do know that we have so many. Don't say we, we have resources in that. California. We have. An but just because we resources. have that, don't mean people know it's there. Are you talking though. about? Yeah, are you talking about the crack pipes that? Are you talking about the crack pipes that that Joe Biden passed out? Right. Talking about, he, you're talking about resources. He a, he, <laughs> hey, he a clown for that, but I'm not, I'm not even talking about but that. Still, I'm talking about, diff- there's it's, people. It's different facts. You can't just. There's people with just, resources. Because you, you work, think that don't mean resources. everybody else will think that or about, like that. I don't. I don't. It's not my personal opinion. That's But you're saying if really you see is. somebody outside homeless, they want to be homeless. You're just judging the book off his cover. What's stopping them from being homeless? It's everybody has we their pay own taxes. Story, we pay taxes. We pay taxes for housing. Their own story, though. They can go to the county building and go get housing right they now. Can, but they can Hold be mentally ill. No, 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 no. like I'm not. Fascist. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about. But you don't Ill. know if they mentally ill or not. They I'm homeless. Not, they can I'm be mentally ill. But you judging the book off his cover because just because they I'm homeless, I mean they not not mentally ill. I'm not saying and it ain't that. That's what I'm saying. That I'm saying that the ones that are not mentally ill, they're but how would you know that? You just judge, you just there's looking at them and just there, now, now for them don't get it twisted. But that don't mean that no is there. Yes, they do. There's people that literally go out there to the like I said when I saw them my brand. I didn't know it was a lot in my city before. You feel me? You just gotta don't get it twisted. I completely understand people all the time. I understand. How, they, how would they not know? You're talking to every I, single one of them. They're going to. We they all know where they every at. single one. This you the, know. I don't know where the they vast, at. Nothing. Nothing is absolute. The vast, I don't know the where they at. You know where they at. Them, yeah. I, yeah. We you know do. where they at. We all see them. Do you like know I said, they all up under the one as far, far, they like I said, I, for everybody right there. They can go to these communities. They, they all don't, know. How they gonna know? They don't know who's there. They go there all the time. I don't okay. think that organizations let for the me say city this. go there all the time. I'm trying. Let me tell you. They go down the skid row all the time, bro. But this is what I'm saying. I don't think that. I don't think that that any of that we can say anything because none of us have have been in this situation. First of all, I do understand what you're saying that there is a certain demographic of displaced people who, through the whether it's mental illness or or drug addiction or whatever it is, it's drugs. that that it's, it's a whole lot of things. Drugs. It's not always yeah. drugs. I would say outside of men, outside of mental illness, the majority of them is out there for drugs. Okay, that's we're not talking everybody percentages, though. absolutely. Yes, that's not everybody. But though. we also that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Not, it's not nothing's absolute. Ab- right now, mm. I also would we'd also be not only uh, completely heartless but foolish to act as though we don't live in a society that promulgates both. Uh, mentally ill people and people to be on, on on these drugs that we're trying to talk about. So it's not that, that people agree. just have a propensity to just be like, uh, you know what? Let me go get, let me go fuck my life up by, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that it's that. Yeah. I think that we I have to. That either. I'm just saying. I think that we have to be sensitive to that, Period. and then we also have to understand. I'm just not sensitive. That's part of and part that's of your it. problem. I'm not sensitive. I want to be rude, but like person. you need to get in tune with your your sensitive side. You need to have empathy. You don't have that. Mm. I think I don't. I, I look. Hold on. That's, where, that's where a lot of things not. go left. Can we? I think that he, that <laughs> that Mills has made himself. <laughs> that's uh, why I asked him. Do you have like some trauma, like traumatic experience? I, I, something? I like, think he's made you himself. Can't, you can't be born like that. I feel like everybody has empathy. A armored. Version of him. That's why I asked why did something go you know wrong what? in your to, life? To like what answer, happened? To answer your we on some earlier, Dr. Phil shit right now. Like what, your let's earlier, talk about your life. It probably it probably was the trauma mm-hmm. that made me more of a, I guess more of a numb person. Mm-hmm. But a lot of it was natural too. I'm not a I'm just not an emotional person. It's not that I don't. I feel like everybody has to be emotional. That's not healthy. I don't I don't feel that way. So you don't cry? Yeah, when necessary. That's like emotional. That's emotion. I'm a That's man. An I'm a man though yeah. too. I, okay, but if you cry, you feel you feel you have something in you still. Yeah, of course. Just like, fuck it Doesn't everybody. mean I have to be emotional about it. Yeah, but you gotta have be, some I sense think of he feeling. Be crying his ass off at the crib. You probably. Be, I really don't. You be in your Drake shit when you be at home. No. <laughs> I'll be. I'm, I'm really. I'm, <laughs> I can do better. <laughs> I'll be on Facebook talking shit to people. That's what I'd be doing at the crib. Okay, mine is social media. What would you be doing? Because everything's like at social the crib, media. At home with my daughter. Doing whatever the hell she asked me to do. Mm-hmm. She always asked me to do, ask me something. But how is the real room. you? That is What's the real, the real you? you? This is 
The real Generally, me is I'm a family guy. And that's from what I've known. Like yeah. this, but you don't see me behind closed doors, though. I don't so see like behind different. closed doors. I'm asking like, I'm not you going can't be behind like, his you doors. Can't be like, fuck everything. Not fuck everything, but like, just hard body, nigga. Why not? You, you can't, because that's I'm not a, normal. You a human. I'm not supposed to be normal. So we're, we're, we're not we're not supposed to be normal. We're business. All right, owners. you asked for it. Not normal, but like everybody feel the same shit. No matter how you put it, everybody, at the end of the day, everybody feel the same I don't. Stuff. I don't agree with that. I feel like people go through things. What's the next and they, question? And they have their own experience. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next question? Oh, you yeah, asked I, for I it. He in, the, he in his bag now. Yeah, but. I do. I, got, I do got a question for you. Come on, bring it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to ask you. I wanted to ask you because there's a there's a whole wave of staying dangerous, mm-hmm. right? Do you do you still feel like since Compton is a dangerous, do you still feel like there's a need for people, specifically <clears throat> men too, to stay dangerous? And before you answer that, <laughs> is the whole Compton is it dangerous? Is this a a revelation? Like as in you realize that Compton is it dangerous, or is this an aspiration? As you know, kind of like how we say black men don't cheat. Black men cheat everybody. Absolutely, you know, ab- men, ab- black, black men absolutely cheat. cheat. But like it's everybody more cheat. aspirational. Not everybody, but like, oh, that's fucking everybody. right. Bitches just throwing pussy. Yeah, you're not but gonna that's lie. not you're everybody. Not gonna lie. Though, but yeah, bitches be it's out too here. Too many niggas out here catching pussy for bitches to not be throwing. Pussy is easy to get. For it's fuck. Yeah, to a nigga, these bitches is they got no more. They got no standards. Zero. This, this generation is fuck. Anywho, <laughs> let's. I was talking about revelation versus aspiration. Is it? Is it? Did you realize that Compton wasn't dangerous, or are you? Are you hoping for a time when Compton isn't as dangerous as people? As you wasn't listening to me when I was talking. I was listening. You wasn't because I you answered said, that question. You said that you. You said Compton isn't dangerous, but like I know, I mean, but I kind of elaborate like a little bit. I mean, but, but it's you also you wasn't listening. Well, that's my question. I, What's I, your if, question? I asked if there was still a need. For, you know, you get that whole wave about staying dangerous. Oh yeah, you Is did there ask still that. A need for specifically men too. To It'd be dangerous? crazy because like the people that be saying Compton like rah rah, this and that be like the rappers, but it's like they trying to they trying to rap about what sales. Well, PMB did just get killed. Yeah. Slide through. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it's a whole different experience. Like, I, granted, I yeah, understand. I I'm understand not saying from your, from your, save. That's what I'm not saying. Yeah, that's yeah. all I'm saying. It's it, like it it's changed. a different experience. It's it like is. It's, it has. It's it came a long way, but still like improvement for the city. Right. Let me hop on. Um, are we still recording? This is your boy, Akilah O'Neal. I am so sorry. I am late. I'm here with Just Business Podcast. We got Cavamins. We got the big homie Tony D. And we are here with Compton isn't with the capital T. Say, I didn't hear you. Say louder. Compton isn't <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> is it LLC merchandising, non-profit, all the stuff that she got going on here? I'm sorry I'm late, everybody. I am a non-deadbeat father. I am a non-deadbeat father. <laughs> Real dad, Period. please stand up. And I and I definitely spent some money today. You know, I had, son got his hair retwisted. Daughter's got some shoes. We was this close from going to the nail shop. Mm. But we going to wait. they mad. I'll be they mad wasn't too fun. mad. My mom rolled with me, so it was, okay. they was spending time with my grandma, grand, grandmother, too. And they kind of... mad. We ain't going to the nail shop. What the fuck? Not, not on Sundays, though. They That's a Saturday morning thing. They want to be seen. My daughters like to... <laughs> but tomorrow, Monday, I know they in school. They got to pop yeah, up with fresh set. They uh, eight and eleven, fresh set. <laughs> oh my bad. My eleven year old, I seen her little straps. I said, "When you start, Dad, I've been wearing bras. You have? Wow, I feel like I'm missing missing out. And my baby you know, girl, time be flying. My baby girl got braces, so I just mm-hmm. also I was called a a, a not a, a bad father. I'm uh-huh. not a good parent. This is after I spent three thousand dollars on on braces. That's who's at the the BM? Oh my goodness. I said, oh, that's, look, that's a different conversation. You don't think that I was a bad father? When that car swiped through the machine and it wasn't no what, 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 smile care, credit care, when you get dentist, whatever, however it is. Oh, yeah. oh man, she had none of that. I just paid it flat. But, you know, I'm happy to be here, man. I, I think y'all covered all the, the questions. I'm just here to entertain a little bit. You got bit. no questions for me? I actually do. How long we got? I got 10 <laughs> minutes. Can I do that? Just yeah, business, yeah, I can yeah. do that? All right. Oh, we only got 10 minutes left? Yeah, so my first question Who's is- Who on the bugs? Uh, you better get that shit. No, you got more time. Oh, we got more time? Okay. We forget. We, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to throw it over there. I didn't mean to throw it over there. Are you really scared of books? Oh, you really Go scared ahead, of books? Go ahead, Calvin. Okay, okay. Fearless Cal. Yeah, he definitely... He got to be fearless, the stuff he been going on. I didn't mean to... This is a lot going on right now. No, I love it. Hey, I know. The, the East this going to be an episode of Clips. 
What is happening? <laughs> it's a moth. How'd you get a moth in here? Let's call it Martha Stewart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that brown. I can't do that. Oh. Communion. Ain't no tequila. Not Jameson. Sweet. Do I miss shot of communion. You need. We take a shot. I take a you shot. Drink? I do. You better tell me to pour a shot. you a shot or something. Can you pour a big time? You better water. Oh, it it comes over that? there. What? They water for their shots? Oh, that's a girl thing. I think that's a girl thing. You seen that dude? Yeah, you're not driving no <laughs> you boat. Seen that, you seen that video of that dude? Um, oh, he good. went to a bar and mm-hmm. the and the uh, bartender was shooting a little gun. In his oh, that's, bro, that's some other shit right there. That's some other shit. That's freaky. You. I, I was gonna ask you. <laughs> you crack the thing. Whiskey. I was gonna ask you that too. What? Demo. <laughs> if my nigga did that, if you is it at the cup? If he was at the bar, if he did that, he'll take it to the dog. He like a, a different <laughs> gender. <laughs> <laughs> He better not be having no other nigga shoot no shit in his mouth. I want to ask my question. That's a Whoa. Freaky ass Whoa, yeah. What's going on with Whoa. that? Y'all ain't freaky that. ass nigga, you a 69 guy. Exactly. Ass nigga. It, was, it was this couple. Hell no. And, well, they look like a couple. I don't know. But it was a dude, the bartender was shooting the, uh, like you can shoot the alcohol. Yeah, yeah, in his yeah. Mouth. I seen that. Like tequila. And he, and was, and he was shooting it in his mouth, like, you know, for a long time. Another man? Oh, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the bartender. Exactly. The male bartender was shooting in the. In the and he was just in the out like that. Yeah. He had the tongue mouth off. This yeah, Wonderful. wide wide open. Girl, the girl face said it all. His girl, who I, it looked oh, like whoever girl. the woman he the was night. with. His she, yeah, she she looked a little. Apart. Would you ever do something like that? Hell no. I was gonna act that too. I would act. Nah, that. I'm not with. Let even, me find no video. I ain't even drink it unless I'm here. Would I do that? I definitely. You didn't say yes or no. That's what I'm asking. You taking a shot to that? That mean you do it. Look. Okay. Would you? Whoa. Look. Hell no. I flip. I flip over the hibachi table. Cause when I asked you, you grabbed your cup, so I don't That's judge not, you. I had to think about I that. I didn't want to say nothing that was gonna get us canceled. I don't want to disrespect nobody. Yeah, us canceled. It's gonna get you canceled. That's no, it's definitely it'll it, it, be us. Cause it'll be us three. It'll be us three. Us three. Look, well, you found me now. You found me now. Yeah. But what y'all say, do not acquire it to me. Or do not. Yeah, we got to do yeah. a warning thing. Real Compton, baby. We got to do like what y'all say. I try off with what y'all think. Yeah, but I got a, a different warning. Y'all, the thoughts and views. of This podcast. You got doing it. Yeah, all that shit. A little, little pre, a little pre one. And if you're mad, oh, oh, you, you talking about like a, a disclaimer? Okay, I'm. Oh yeah. lord. Oh, yeah. Y'all, you know, <laughs> let me let me get my personal questions out before we start talking Let's crazy. Do that. Let's do that. I mean, uh, my uh, professional questions. No, I'm not trying to be I like nosy shit because I'm nosy. So okay, we get. To, I'm a Capricorn, so I'm gonna get to that too. I'm a Pisces. I'm the best song. You Pisces. You already know what it is. You're Pisces gang. Yep, sharks. Tyrese, we got a song for us. You know, it's a song for us. What's a sing it? I was talking to this girl. Don't hate. He, he fell for it. Hey, y'all hate it. She fell for it. Capricorn <laughs> Pisces. I to the Pisces. I yeah. We connected. Yeah, the of and love I Megan. think it kind of I heard said, that. Yeah. You sound just like to him, too. He said yeah. Capricorn. Okay, what's the question? My question is why. <laughs> my, 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 my number one question is what was the basis or the foundation of you creating or just establishing Compton isn't, is it? What a T, dangerous. Like, where did that come from? How did that... Did you already ask that question? If you, I'm going to say, if you, if you was here sort of on time, of. you would Okay, then if you already asked the question. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, we did. You had... You had... You had... You had... Because, y'all, like I said, y'all from Compton. Yeah. I'm from Long Beach. So, I, I, I enjoy seeing people... You feel me big He was talking about the city. He's talking shit about the city. Okay, what did you talk about? I didn't nigga. talk about the city. He's talking about you in Compton and you get shot. Da, I don't da, say da, da, Compton, da. Is, Compton is actually no. dangerous. I said, is it as. You said it's dangerous. I said, is it aspirational or is it revelational as far as. It's not as dangerous. So People be thinking it's it really not. It's changed a long way. It's still like time will. Space for improvement, but it has came a long way. I definitely think, I will say, I live in the city, went to school in the city, kids go to school in the city. I will say it has calmed down mm-hmm. a whole heck of a lot. And I don't know if we owe that to so, uh, COVID and just things changing and all of that. Because you you know, yeah. it was hot for a hot When I was in middle school, niggas was walking off campus, going to get food, coming back, banging, beating people up. This was middle school. Bro, I remember when I used to be at the private school. We had people... Hopping on campus, walking around with guns, like Wait, we be on lockdown. Yeah, El Triple A by uh, Mac Johnson Park. Oh, you down the street from my house? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so okay. when I was there, they had people jumping on campus. Like we used to be on yeah, lockdown. Like wild. that shit was crazy. It was really wild. And we, I lived in Sunny Coast, and we used to the whole block to be shut down. We can't even go home because they look for somebody. Like, yeah, that shit. Used to I, it's be crazy. small too. It's only ten miles. So okay, so maybe confident isn't dangerous. Maybe say it was say with your chest. You yeah, we have a whole brand. No, no, I'm saying confident isn't dangerous. But there are some things in certain 
areas. Yeah, it's not 100% safe. Absolutely. Nowhere That's is. nowhere. Though. Absolutely. Yeah, I wasn't even talking about safety-wise. But I'm, we talk I was talking about... more like... <clears throat> like no, you good. Homelessness. I'm talking about prostitution. Now, we can talk about it's prostitution. It's like, yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of improvement. I need to go Why are you so city. excited about... Why would you like that when I said we can talk about prostitution? Because it's a... No, no, no. No, because it's a, it's a, it's a huge <laughs> under thing because what you they do is... You think Long Beach Boulevard? I ain't never picked up... I ain't never paying for none of that, right? But I Cross will say... Cross your heart. Oh my, you, never picked up, you never paid for no pussy? Ever. Never. I'm nosy. Never. <laughs> I ain't never directly paid for some cat. That's crazy. <laughs> That's we all insane. Didn't, we know. We all didn't pay time. I'm just, I know. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But I remember. You I pay for the kitty cat. Would I? Yeah. Nah. The, you got no. You got slept in You talking about like elite, like on some like it's yeah, a yeah, the baddest. I got uh, How much was you really want? I'm gonna make her smile too fast, man. I can't. I hey, don't want to. You a comedian? You yeah, I can't. I, but not every girl could crack easily, like everybody. That's knows. true. You might meet one that can't smile, but don't smile. Yeah. But so if she's not if, smelling, how much you gonna like, pay for it? Honestly, I don't feel like I'm directly paying for vagina. That's is you're actually trying to, you're insane. trying to look at it a different, well, better aspect. It's like I'm not a strip club like, fan either. You don't go strip club? I'm, I'm not, not a. I'm not I a love fan. all of the aesthetics. I love I black that. women, legs, so do you thighs. Go to strip club? I've been. You don't throw money. I the last time I went, no, I just ate when and you left. Go, you gotta have the whole little champagne. No, who ain't throwing? I just no is. I can see this for free at hey, home. What'd you eat at a strip club? Like the strip club? Oh, so the so strip club food is actually wings? really good. Wings, wings. Yeah. fries, they crab legs. Oh, yeah. I didn't. They got crab legs at the Damn, strip club. What? Where you go? What? I didn't mean the Magic City. I didn't mean the Magic City. I've been. To, look, the I went to Magic City for my twenty first birthday. My Did you eat? I had wings when I went to to Magic City for my twenty first. In the South, strip club have good food. Wings fire as fuck. Extremely good. But I, I was just thinking, sorry. like, crab legs. And crab, that's kind of extreme. They had them. I didn't get them. I got wings, but it's just, look, this was my first time. If it's a, though. look, Gotta have excuse one. my French, and this ain't French. Say, speak excuse my mind. French. Speak your mind. But if it's pussy in my face, I'm not trying to have no crab legs. There you no. go. All right, now I agree. <laughs> I agree. I don't know why, bro, it's a South thing. Going to the strip club is like flossing, too. Because I remember I was with my homies, and they, yeah. you know, we all went. And that's the thing out there. That's flashy. Like, throw the money, who gonna win the war? And I'm looking like, they gonna hold that's crazy. Oh, no, no. When I went, when I went, it was literally like a completely different strip club experience than I've ever experienced. Mm -hmm. It was like a nightclub. Okay. It felt like a nightclub more so with strippers walking around. Okay. It would, they wasn't doing table dances. It was like they was dancing on niggas. While everybody around them was throwing money, mm -hmm. and these bitches was literally stopping mid dance to be like, "Yo, this this pile of money is mine." Yeah. yeah, they was yeah, it was real. It was like this is out here. No, that's Magic City. For my twenty first oh, birthday. Oh, okay. Like yeah, I, I, I went when I was young. I ain't been since since. Y'all ain't. ain't, ain't I'm not a strip club, bro. I can get all this at home for free. Jesus. And, yeah, and I mean, how, how how exactly are you acquiring this? Because I... Uh, Not the cross in the leg. See, the thing is... See, the do, thing is... Do tell. Look, 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 do, tell. Do, do fucking tell. You look, I told y'all. Look, I... My, Speak your mind. I told you. I've been with my wife for 17 she, years. She was stripping for you. And nah, not so much. <laughs> ain't no stripping going on Aww. at my crib. I would lie. I ain't mind. Look, I told you. I ain't mad at So no do you like to strip? Because they don't really strip no more. They just dance. I'm not. So we, I'm they not, not taking their clothes off. I'm not impressed already, by it. At, I'm not really impressed by it at all. Like, me, Liz. I got a question for y'all because y'all guys. Talk like, nice. <laughs> Keep it a buck. 1,000. Guys like, like role play and stuff? I'm with all the. I'm, whatever you own. You I'm on. like that. That's, Whatever you want, I think that, I'm on. I think guys, I'm not serious. I'm goofy as fuck. So I'd be like, like you guys laugh? want to guys want to have like a success rate with their partner. Right, it just spice it up a little bit. Whatever it is, guys are generally down with whatever mm -hmm. is going that y'all gonna be like hell yeah to. So mm -hmm. if you say, uh, if he say, all right, I want to try this, and you be like, uh, he gonna be like. Okay, never mind. You feel me? But if you say if he say I want to try this and you, and you be like fuck yeah, that nigga's gonna try that, that like shit. Otherwise, stuff. okay, I'm not with no. You don't like the little. I'm not getting my ancestors been through too much to, for me to get that too much power. Too deep Fifty shades. I didn't right? been to jail. Like I'm cool. Whip, like, That's my movie though. That's that 50 shades I'm not doing yeah, no whip and like none that. of that. No, I'm a, I'm I'm cool with all that. We uh -huh. handcuffs, whips, oh, girl. It gotta spice it up. You that, like do you spice it up like that? You Don't just said you were shy. 
No, no, like, nigga, you're not gonna ask the question wow. and then be like, "Don't like, worry shy, about me." I, like Crazy. with my dude, you're not shy. Like, you she nosy. Said, she said, "Get me." <laughs> nosy. Like, with your dude? Uh, like, with your dude? Uh huh. Like, is he watching? Yeah, no, he, he back there. Oh, the shit, fuck? That nigga right there. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, hey, my bad. Not, not too much. Look. Here, not too much. Nah, oh, now, oh, no, now, now it's not it's too not much. Too my much. bad, man. Yeah. I just talking about hand. I thought that was us. Oh, no, no, other shit when it was us. No, we skipping now. Shit, we here now. I got it. Hey, day. Y'all do it. Hey, day. What's his name? Oh my gosh, boo! Don't say shit. Boo! Now it's boo. <laughs> and look, you know what's crazy? She knew she had to bring her nigga with her to all males podcast. Hey, baby, can you come with me to this wait, podcast? Wait, wait, just wait, in case. Wait, go, hey, when he pulled up, though. nigga shook my hand hard. Yo, nigga, what's the deal? Nigga, you good? Yeah, yeah. Don't be asking no crazy <laughs> questions. Right? I'm going to be in the back. Hold on, look, in rhythm. This mine. Oh, this mine. Oh, he did a church. This mine. The deacon answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This mine. Don't even... Boo, don't, don't say nothing. <laughs> don't say nothing, please. I know he I'm did. Like, I know he gave her a prep talk on the way here. Like, I hey, said, how you, you know he these did niggas? Y'all want a shot? He said, no, no, we better go to this little bar over here. You know what I'm <laughs> I, I buy the drinks. I buy the drinks around this bitch. That's what he said. <laughs> he said, we better go to, we better cross the street Hey, bring there. him on it. He need to sit down oh, on the no, table. No, What's no, up, no, man? We're no, going to turn into no, a couple's no, conversation. No, no, no. We just, we just going to talk about it. Okay. You feel me? I hope he all right. It's going to be a cool car right home. How long y'all been together? You asking too many questions. That's see, a real question. See, see, you see how they do? See, see how they do? They speculate. They told us to get personal. Yeah. Right. No, in the moment, I, I, I said nosy, but not too fucking not nosy too now. Not personal. Asking how long y'all been together is okay, too nosy. Okay, so you say you don't like BBWs. Why is that? <laughs> that's so crazy. That's Why is that? Why are you insane. discriminating me? Black women so, are She insane. might need to be. <laughs> hey. We might need to sit on that couch. Hey, that was insidious. All the but time. But I'm going to answer, though. Answer the question. I'm going to answer. Are you about to get into this? Yeah, yeah, he is. You know this is just you, right? You know this is just you? No. Okay, I just want you to know you solo. Okay, hold on. Before you start, what's your definition of BBW? Okay, so... Wait. Don't say a, shit. What's your definition? What's your definition? Uh, are we talking about weight wise? No, what's no, what's no, the definition of BBW? Yeah, what does that mean for you? Big black woman or beautiful woman? Oh, so it's only black? <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't. Maybe. I don't. I don't look okay. at other women, so okay. I only think about black women. Oh, okay. It ain't okay. no person. I, I agree. Your friend? I agree. Would you I, go, homie? My, yeah, we could. I like my. Because he gonna say some wild uh, shit. Oh. Th- I re- I know now. You see our group chats. I, I know <laughs> now. I don't want to hear this shit. My definition of BBW, <laughs> bro. You know how many people hate me because of you right now, <laughs> man. And I don't blame them. Oh, you have no idea. Uh, my definition though is big back woman. Big back women. Big back woman. Okay. That's that's a BBW. Let but you act like it stands for big old bitch with an appetite. Or okay, let me. Like I never. Okay, because <laughs> I, I stay out of these <laughs> conversations. Like no, because like, that's your thing. So you don't have you had a BBW? Before? Absolutely, I know he has. Absolutely, I know he has. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're hold you don't on, like him anymore? He's had tons of them. See, people be mad at me because I don't respond to you on social media. I'm gonna talk to you on the podcast. You know when a girl don't fuck with you, that's when they be like, oh, I hate them. Da 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 da. You wanna know what's funny? You don't like them because they don't like you. It's not even no. It's not even that. Since That's I started, since giving. I started talking about it, mm-hmm. my DMs is full of them trying to give me some just to prove that I, I like big women. Mm. And that's not even the. That's not. That's really not my issue. My issue. And I is, think you falling for the trap. You probably got one lined I up right you, now. You got a book I lined up. I think you lamenting some of these hams. You, you slide in ideas. He think he's slick. He say all that to get some cool. Tell me the truth. D- by DM, do you mean day mouth? I think he is sliding in their mouth. He says, "Y'all, get them to as bite a comedian, the this is a lot right now." <laughs> Y'all asking me if I if I want easy scores. I mean, come on, am I gonna take a free throw? Of course, why not? You only say something because I mean, you know they are gonna bite the bait, your bait, and they are gonna give it up. Not even that. These are my true feelings. Nah, bro, old oh, girl. These are, these are these are Mills. Feelings. You got these women hating you, bro. Like it's really getting bad now. Okay, I I, I stay out of social media back and forth. I got a lot going on, care, but. It's really just about their health. That's that's more so. so that's really my main just focus. Just because they big don't mean they're unhealthy. They are. It be, no, it could be is, like, I know exactly. this one lady, she got like a disease where it's like, it make them like, Gang her gang. hormones, the elephantitis. Yes. I'm not. I'm not talking huh? about them though. Ele- in like elephantitis. No, but sir. That's a whole. Shit, about you are you serious like, right now? The, the hormone that is imbalance. A, Have you? She said, "I know a lady with a thing," and I'm asking, "Is that thing elephantitis?" Elephantitis, <laughs> Tony. <laughs> what is that? Do you know what elephantitis is? And that when your legs start swelling up. No. no. That's not elephantitis. Oh what is? You it? ever seen? Can I look ele- it up over here? Have you ever seen the elephant man? Have you ever seen that movie, black and white movie, Elephant Man? Yeah, I've heard so things. Recommend it's like when your body it creates, it's like a, it deform? a, it's a deform. Yeah. So that's where it comes from. You know, I hell thought, is hot. I thought it. 
I've heard things. So watch what you say. Don't say nothing crazy. I'm not yeah. clowning. I just. See, I y'all really it's not elephant. He's types. talking about fever. He's talking about diseases. Y'all better be careful. You said you know somebody. I was asking. I didn't say had... what it was, though, but you said See, this is why Tony D don't be saying too much because I'm live for the state. Elephant is crazy, though, Tony. So you don't you don't agree that what big women. Well, be, are unhealthy. No, cause see that's ain't that that's what I was fucking that's what saying. I, that's you what said what legs. It don't just though. be your legs. Though. That's what I was talking I'm, about. I'm talking so about like the whole body. That's what I was talking about. I'm talking Hold about, on. Like, just and the away. thing is, these each of these legs, Why each of these legs like that, go with the leg that's next to it. That is out fucking raging. <laughs> This is what I'm saying. They all got the same shit, nigga. That's why they go with the I'm leg old. next to it. The fuck? They got the I'm same shit. And this nigga's just trying to be mad at me because I said elephantitis. That's what I was talking <laughs> yeah, about. You, you said she had elephantitis is crazy. Diseases, and he's talking about BBWs. We going through a lot of different conversations oh, right now. Calvin got the big women Somebody go coming, jump y'all coming against. Y'all better be careful when y'all started, go out. Started, started I ain't going to say shit. When I was <laughs> like you said enough already. No, you. I wasn't here for the most most of the early stuff. I'm I'm catching. It is how it was. We had talked we had talked about. And it's how it was. Big main big big back women is what you say. Yes. Okay. Y'all know y'all wrong. Not too much. No, what you what you keep saying? I love women. No, that's not what BBW. You know what they main argument be though? Didn't I say beautiful? I got it. Did I say black beautiful? That's the only. What he said. That's their only argument. No, I said that's what he said. Not okay. I'm not even saying that they don't have a beautiful face, but that's their only argument. So can I say this? I'll say this out loud. I will say I've 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 spoken to and I've had relations and conversations and situations with women who might what they consider obese or oversized. I always would say, if I like you, I like you and I'm feeling you, right? But best believe a conversation about your health is going to come between now dating or us getting serious and it's nothing personal. Of course. That's, you know, that's mostly just like, what are you doing? Are you working out? What's your diet? And things like that. You brought up a good point about women who have... That's kind of rude though. How do y'all... I'm talk? fat. Me and How like, have that I'm not having women, that though. discussion. Like, with our woman that we sleeping with, talking be, to, spending our money and the time on? Like, you gotta be straight like, how, how, how You can't just say you're getting, you getting kind of big. No, you, you don't say that. You ask like, her. How do y'all say I that? I would bring that's up awesome. us working out or what is your health or those type of questions. Mm-hmm. It's a health thing. Because I feel like as a man, I'm sleeping but with you, spending your money. But some people, they gain weight and they yeah. can't help it. He's like, nicer. Again, you definitely you have up, something to do with gaining weight. He just, he just huh? nicer to me. Uh, you said what? Like, I'm just nicer than you. And that's okay. Look, you so straightforward. You just don't give a fuck. My grandmother was a big woman, I'm, so, you know. Like, I'm straightforward because you need those hard truths. Because you can sit there and wrap it up in a nice little bow and give it to your girl nice, like, like boogie. I don't disagree with that. You can't just you be can't, like... I'm going to tell you why you can't do that. My skinny ass be loving big women. Though. I be, it's winter time it. coming up. Put me in a thing. I'm you cut warm. You over there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ela- <laughs> hold on. Elaborate on put me in the thing. Oh, I meant like... What's putting me in the thing? Heated blanket next okay, to her. Okay, I was thinking titties. When you... Oh, y'all I'm like with it everything. Not, yeah. Anything she got on her, my little slim ass. It's wintertime. I'm on winter, baby. It's coming up. I'm going to be right there. You about to be cold this winter. You don't like BBWs. Yeah, he's going to be by himself. I ain't going to be cold. It's not, it's not even not necessarily... Don't and I'm getting a meal. <laughs> they going to cook, too. They going to cook. They going to cook good as fuck. You tripping. And hey, that's Cap. You didn't have something that can't cook? That's most, crazy. Most of these BBWs mm. out here is big for McDonald's. They're not, it's not big. <laughs> you they're do not realize. Big. They're not big because they're out here. My DMs. They're not at home. They're not at home cooking. Bag. He said these biggie bag bags. Oh, my God. They're not, they not at home cooking. They, they fast. Who do you fuck with? They fast. The world may never know. <laughs> the do world may never know. Ring around? Like, what is, I don't know around? what he got going. That's his business. Do y'all now. ever see him with a girl? I see. Have y'all ever seen I him see with a woman? Po- I see who pop up yeah. in his in, in like who he follow. You got I'm, a bit? You got a girl? I'm smart. I keep mine's on the reps. I seen him argue with with women that he used to uh delve in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know some couple girls you used to talk to. Yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. couple of them was yeah, used to. Yeah, a few of them. Are... Majority of them was. <laughs> hey, you know who? You know who Meech, Meech brought up Meech brought up my ex girlfriend. She was a she was a BBW, mm-hmm. and she was cute as fuck. She could have yeah, still pretty. she still can be a fucking BBW model, fine as hell. Mm-hmm. However, hold on, Dominique, say that again. She can be a BBW uh, hold model. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Say that again. That's wild. No, no. Say that no, again. You said legit. fine as hell. Fine as hell. Still, because you just said. Come on, Tony. Maybe three days ago, on, show sir. me a BBW that's fine. Did, did he not? Did he not? Did he not? Y'all show him that picture? All right, I just want to... So Who check and make Tony D wins again because no. Tony D's no, always just, right. That was just hyperbole. You know, Home, but did y'all show him her people. picture? Nigga, what are you talking about? Uh, we know who you're talking about. The person y'all talking about. We know who you talking about. Y'all showed the picture to him? My ex? 
Which, Dumbo? Which, I don't know who y'all talking. I don't know. Oh, which no, one are you talking about? Talking about Michi. It's a plethora. It's me, a plethora me and of Michi pounds. Kind of like got into it. We did a in lot in his past. She was she, ass that's that light skin girl. I'm gonna help Michi, her Michi's sleep light on your ass. That was going off on live. Yeah, she brought up my you know you wrong. She was wilding. Yeah, she was wild. I'll let her. I'm like, her mic. She was like, yeah, you wasn't saying that when you was all in this cat. Exactly. When you was all yeah, in this should. cat. The fuck? Yeah. Because yeah. I ain't yeah. never. Why you saying it now? She was going cool. You know, I'm going to tell you how that exact statement proves my point. Because you got dick and not a ring. You mm -hmm. got dick, but no relationship. It. How it don't? Because you make it seem like, oh, BBJ is just sloppy and ugly and this and that. Like, you will never I touch say him. that. That's how you, like... That's how you give them off. That's put, the energy you give me. I, you give them just like they just like the bottom of the barrel. But I'm very, like I'm very straightforward. That's an interpretation of what. Okay, I'm but how you like saying in this shit, like your demeanor and all that? That's how you. That's how I'm understanding. Because how how I look at it is, is there a better way to word it? It probably what? is. But I don't claim the shit that he If your dude, but if that's he, in the back right there, if he was a big nigga, what you being messy for? That's not mess. That's real serious. What the fuck? See, you talking about said, me personal? He said, keep my. If motherfucking you talking, we talking about this right now. Like talking about big people mouth. though. How you gonna say let's get personal? Then you when I get personal, you people, get nervous. What you gonna say? What? Do you, would you date a big dude? It's always I have a type. fat boys. You see. said you have a type. I have all. a type. You have a type. What's your type? I do have a type. My man's my type. Yeah, she Period. Should. Hey, my nigga, if you can hear <laughs> me in the back, <laughs> look, look, up top. Hey, dog. <laughs> uh, hey, dog. <laughs> hey, make sure you go on and just go on and get the cart and go on and get paid a cart ready, dog. Go on and take care of this don't next level. Don't say nothing. Right. Y'all burnt out. I'm telling him, don't say nothing. Oh, no. He, he quiet. He know. They go, you, know <laughs> look, you know how the internet be. They be like, I know that voice. That's funny, but hey, on Instagram and shit. Like, because know, what like, they did for Rich know. Homie was <clears throat> wild. Well, Rich Homie, look. Well, I mean, but it's normal. But would you not expect, no, like, you not expect Rich oh, Homie to No, no I don't business. expect no entertainment industry dude who has money so or somewhat of I don't money. Think any, but just because you have money, I mean, you got bitches, though. No, I but, think, I'm, but no. I think, that, I think that most men of any type of status, whether mm -hmm. it's in the street, whether it's in the entertainment, I think he struggles. With being with one woman. Do you struggle? I absolutely have struggled. Do you struggle to this day? Uh, it's not as hard. So at, do you, I said no question. Uh, me, That's a real good question. Hold on, hold on. Really? It's not as it's not as difficult because I've already messed up. But that's the yes no question. Let, though. let me answer the question. Like I said, it's mm -hmm. not as difficult because I've already messed up. Mm -hmm. And like most situations, you probably be doing the same shit if you didn't get caught. Yeah. So you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm be, so being a hundred percent honest, uh, I still struggle with it because just like most men, we don't acknowledge uh, promiscuity as we do some of the other addictions in in the world. Mm. I got another question for you, Tony D. On us, always look, it, it, every episode. You said God will tell you if you got the right woman. You said God told you that. So why do you still struggle if God gave you? A, you said because a sign. because uh, God told. Hold on. If you want to bring God into it, God told no, you. That's what you said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, you brought God into it. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, Jesus literally was praying, if it be your will, remove this cup from me. Just because, like, the flesh is weak. The spirit may be strong, but the flesh is weak. Mm -hmm. So me and my wife experienced a, a, a period of time that was very rough. And it's been rough for years. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So I fell back into some of the traps. That that I was used Basically. to some of the things. No, just some of the things. The comfort zones mm -hmm. that was easy for me back in the day. You feel me when a, when a nigga would be stressed out or scared or. So how can you avoid that though, as a man? As a man, I think you gotta surround yourself with people like I have that mm -hmm. that are honest with you. And I'm talking about brothers. You feel me? Like you gotta hear about yourself to help you fix yourself. <clears throat> I think that's how all of us are. You don't, you don't feel like. Maybe not even just yourself, just men, period, can get to a point to where their mind and spirit is more strong. Absolutely. Absolutely. But most of uh, you, we most of the time have to build ourselves back up after a fall. And that's what I'm saying. Excuse me. Bro. Good, good whiskey burps. But um, no, I think that that's what happens most of the time is that you are exposed. Once, once your weaknesses are exposed, if you are a man who you say you are, you step up to the plate. But like I said, I think any man of any type of status struggles with that I 
that that type of identity because it is so much wrapped up in in who we are. Like they say, men uh, measure themselves by how many women they get, and women measure themselves by the quality of men they get. I agree. Do you I disagree? Agree. I agree with that a lot. Tell me I'm wrong, because Tony D ain't never wrong. I don't know about that, but I do agree with you. Tell me when I'm wrong, G. Yeah, that's how... The, I'm look, you told me... You tried to tell me I was wrong earlier, but we're going to get on that in another episode. But... I'm about to be on your ass. But like I said, I, do I struggle with it? No, I don't struggle with it anymore. Mm. But have I struggled with it? Yes. But I've also done the work to understand why I struggle with it. And it's a lot deeper Period. than it's a lot That's deeper. Good shit. You feel me? It's a lot deeper than just saying I wanted some pussy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you feel me? Like, cause like you said, <laughs> pussy's the easiest thing to get. Yeah. So it's not even that. That's the DVW pussy. Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. I was just saying. What would you say now? I was just saying that obtaining <laughs> pussy was, like I said, a drug. It was a quick fix. It was one of those things. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. In and out. Back. Welcome back. Hey, do he got insurance? Because, oh my goodness. Yes. He ran into that table. Been- it sting. Do you know how it sting in the knee? Why they call that shit a funny it. bone? I thought the funny bone is the funny bone is this. And it ain't but like elbow and knee? No, this you is your what? reflex. I think it's just your reflex. I think your funny bone is a look. Look, yeah, that's funny fuck bone. both them bones. All that, yeah. <laughs> it's it's burnt. It's, <laughs> he said fuck both. I'm rubbing it too. Just because you don't know what it was, nigga. Before we get out of here. I, I do want to ask you, you know, do you have anything coming up next? Yeah, I have the, the workshop for my first event. When is that? It's October 5th. We October invited? 5th? October 5th. Are we invited? Yeah, you right. just got RSVP. O- October 5th. October 5th. Do Saturday. I get to talk to these people or do I just got to sit back and talk? Yeah, you going to let us come in and do some No, and everybody's like interactive shit. Stuff. Like, right. it's going to be people from like different like business owners, photography, like makeup artists, like just different shit. Let me know if you I need to host. I to host it. You know. Period. This don't say no know. wild shit how y'all say I'm not going to say no wild shit, but I will keep it live. It might just jump kids, on, it's it? going to be in the city. It might jump on you. What part of where it's going to be in the city? I'll, I'll send it to you. Okay. I'll send this, it to it's going to be for the kids or just like a community? For everybody. Community. Yeah, okay. for everybody. You said the paint. Was it the paint thing? Just paint about it. Okay. Just yeah, you paint gonna, about it. Yeah, I'm a just business host? Yeah. Sure. Like y'all heard it first. Y'all heard it here first. Y'all heard it here first. Wait, hold on. Yet. Y'all listen. We from Compton now. We gonna have to give y'all some rules and some regulations about when y'all uh, come into our city. Compton is I'm, the name I'm from Compton. Come I, I know. know. You are not too anything good. That, anything that needs <laughs> rules and regulations probably <laughs> is a little, a little dangerous. janky. Don't say it like that, It's a little though. dangerous. What do you mean? Depend on the park. Yeah. You're it, was a joke. it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. It's the, park it's the truth, though. You know they gotta revamp that part. You know. I'm just telling it. I'm keeping it. Okay, well, really, yeah, y'all really come through. October 5th. Okay. October, October 5th. 5th. What's October the name 5th. of the event? Y'all heard it. Just here. paint about it. Just paint about it. Like so, just talk about it, just paint about okay, it. Okay, so Compton painting. isn't dangerous as having just paint about it. October, October 5th. 5th. What time? It's Five to seven. Five to seven Five p.m. To in the city of Compton. Please be in the uh, aware when we release the dates and things October 5th. Then what the Mm-hmm. Get y'all some merch. Y'all need to buy. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna have a table and stuff there. She gonna have a table. I'm gonna have clothes and stuff. I'm gonna do a giveaway. A whole giveaway. Giveaway. I'm gonna give y'all food. Like the whole you feeding black folk. Oh, that's, 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 okay, that's, that's how I bring them in. You not gotta look, look, feed them. What, would you, what, would, what were we thinking as far as food is concerned? <laughs> what you want? Some wings or something? I'm just. I have somebody that's really. Well, good. I just want to. I just want to pick your brain. Yeah. Like cater. You got the trucks yeah. and all that good mm. stuff. Not no truck, but mm. that's all that That's my first event. Not too much now. Can we can we talk items? Well, you say when you want to make a menu. Jesus, are you gonna put some money? You said I'm Jesus. I'm I'm Did you eat today? I haven't. <laughs> Me either. But damn. That's the thing. I mean, no, no. Y'all make a menu. I've been playing drugs all day. Sponsor my shit. Well, you I mean, sponsor my it or what? We can try to see some, put some money. Stuff. You I need vendors. Talk. We can huh? talk. You need vendors. I don't need vendors if y'all want the food part though. The food. Look, how many people you Hold trying on. to feed? Can we get a camera? Look, right look. can you look in the camera and say what you need? What you looking there for? There it is. There we, it is. Where's the money? Yeah, so we got the fun <laughs> <laughs> oh, So you, you say you yeah. currently. <laughs> so you're currently looking for vendors uh, yeah. for, as far as food is concerned. Yes, so, food. All right, cool. Or if y'all want to do the um. What's the boards called when you paint? The canvases or Canvas. brushes, whatever y'all need donate to do. Donate some. I know, yeah, a, few, donate I know a few painters that can come out. I'm going to see if they can come out. Here's and they've been the general. Donate. Look, I, I want you. everybody out. Look, 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 look. If y'all in any way, shape, form, or fashion have it on y'all heart to help out Erica. The community of Compton, and, and they, California. The community Not even just Compton, me, just Compton. That's, you feel me? Yeah, just Y'all Compton. reach out to us. Y'all reach out to Compton underscore isn't underscore dangerous. Period. And we're going to go on ahead and we're going to support this. We're yeah, going yeah, yeah. to make these dreams come true. We're going to bring this shit to fruition. You feel me? Period. 
period. That's what we here for. Nah, just for business. Yeah. Just business. Shout out to Comfy. You from the city, so yeah, I better see your ass. I'm coming October 5th. October period. 5th. I'll be there. I'm, I'm going to donate. I'm going to donate a couple canvases. I'm going to call my... Or whatever y'all want to give. Shit. Yeah, we I'm coming. You got a jumper for these kids? Anything you want to close with, my boy? <laughs> you know, the kids love the jumper. You'd be surprised. Get your it's jumper. 15 and up. 15 and up. Oh, so it might get a little ratchet. Yeah, you got a DJ? Huh? Yeah, DJ? You know it's a fucking Just come DJ. and see. Just yeah, come and gonna, see. I'm talking, man. I'm just going to come out and, and entertain come and see. people. It sounds good. You know, folks were saying shit and they don't... No, we pulling up. We no, definitely going to pull up. I know where to find you. I'm going to pull up here if I don't nah, see whoa. y'all. We going to be... Oh, I know the code. No. We men of our words. Yeah, I'm going to be there. Sounds good. We'll oh. see. I don't care about words. I got to see it to believe. Oh, okay. Yeah, October 5th, like Compton that. isn't dangerous. Just paint October 5th. Just paint about it. Just paint about it. I'm sorry. We'll be there. Just Business Podcast will be there. Uh, we thank you so much for having I thank y'all for us, having me. Even though we had you. I was, I was late. Come here. You was, yeah. My bad. You and I know about 20 minutes. Listen, over. but for the kids. Calvin, Anything for the kids. It, it wasn't, it, and I really was trying. I ended up taking my mom home before I got here. And I was like, oh, I mom. You know, hey, mom. I'm in school to be an educator, so. I'm a, y'all work at a school. I love the kids. Who's worker? Not too much, nigga. Don't you right, you right. This is yeah. the internet. <laughs> my bad. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I work my bad. Problems. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I'm thinking we off the mic. My bad. Yeah, we're All right, let's wrap it up. Still mic'd up, yeah. Well, yeah, you were, you were a lovely guest. I'm glad. Thank you, y'all. Thank glad you. Glad you was able to fight through the nerves and that's the. I need to uh, come back when y'all talking about some deeper shit about your ass and what y'all. I want to pick y'all brain. We're out the Compton's dangerous. Okay, you want to just come? Ass. Yeah, I want to be on y'all ass. Okay, you know, I'm honest. Stripper, and truthful. When y'all have the stripper, oh, you want to come for that I one? I want to come for the stripper. I got you. Okay, <laughs> you, you need another hey, female hey, person. Hey, 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 not too much. Hey, not, nigga, not too much. Nigga, not too much. We working on it. We working on it. Nigga, not too much. I want to come for that too. That's another episode of the Jazz Business Podcast. Sorry, I was late. Thank y'all for being here with us. Like, subscribe.